This is a lightweight bout scheduled for eight rounds. Tommy Williams has dropped seven pounds down to 140. He thinks that he'd like to stay in this lightweight division, and his result here in this fight will tell him whether he should stay in this division. No title on the line. Tommy Williams is not putting his world championship on the line. He's fighting as a lightweight. Of course, this is eight rounds. Norris Williams is not putting his U.S. title on the line. And a lot, there's a lot depending on this fight, the outcome of this fight. Both fighters need this fight badly. Norris Williams, about, as far as contrasting their styles, Norris Williams is not as flexible and as adept a kicker as Tommy Williams, but he throws still a lot of kicks, and he uses his kicks effectively. Norris Williams, though, does have a very good right hand. He'll set this right hand up, and he's moving very well. He is very experienced. He's got 31 fights. Tommy Williams is very good at throwing one particular technique over and over again until you start to look for it. And when you do, then he throws another technique. For instance, he's been throwing that step over spinning back kick. Now he throws it into a spinning back fist. Well, at that time, he caught uh, Norris Williams with the forearm. The referee, I don't believe, saw it, saw it land. So I don't know that he's going to call any kind of a foul. But in fact, uh, Tommy Williams did hit with the uh, forearm. We did have a delay in the time. I believe they stopped the time for a momentary period. Referee Swenson may have determined that Norris Williams was moving into that. I mean, maybe call that a sort of a no-fault foul situation. Norris seems fine now. Both these fighters required to kick a minimum of eight kicks per round. Neither fighter going to have any problem with that. Tommy Williams, of course, uh, 13 of his 14 knockouts coming with the kick. Both these fighters very adept in the point karate arena, even after they started their full contact career. They like to stay active. And they like to compete, and sometimes they don't have a fight schedule. They'll go ahead and fight in a tournament just for the fun of it. Just kind of keep out there. But so far, Tommy Williams has fought very dynamically. He's taking control. Closing out round number one. Round number one, gentlemen. We'll be back with round two right after this. Norris Williams in blue, Tommy Williams in black. How did you score round one, John Worley? I had the first round 10-9 for Tommy Williams. Really on virtue of his kicking skills, he threw more techniques and he scored a couple of good hand techniques as well. Scheduled for eight rounds, a non-title bout, but two very good fighters. The U.S. champion, Norris Williams in blue, is the lightweight champion. Tommy Williams has dropped weight. He's the world champion in a division higher, the light welterweight division. Some of you PKA fans may be familiar with the term Super Welter. They've dropped that name now in the PKA in favor of the light welterweight. Same weight division, different name. You'll notice again, contrasting the two styles, Tommy Williams uses the front leg side kick very well, and that's a very important kick for any good kicking fighter. Whereas Norris Williams is going to keep trying to throw the back leg roundhouse kick, Tommy Williams is going to be getting inside of that. There again, the back leg round kick, Tommy Williams can hit with the front leg. That spinning back kick a little bit low. Usually when Tommy Williams leads off with his spinning back kick, that means he's trying to set up a spinning back fist. We great. saw that in the first round. Very difficult for a fighter to determine which is going to come. If he's going to come with the kicks to the body, or if he's going to go ahead and put it up with a spinning back fist to the head. And Williams does it probably better than anybody in the sport. You'll notice, though, again, we talk about unorthodox fighting styles. Look where Tommy Williams' hands are. He carries his hands very low, and that's something that you tell fighters, don't do that. Well, you notice he's also fighting at a kicking range. He's not really dropping his hands when he's in close enough for Norris Williams to hit him with a punch. He's very slick. You know, it's just, it's not a good habit for most fighters to have, and Tommy Williams seems to be very successful at being able to get away with it. There's that spinning back kick. It landed a little bit low. Had it been on the ribs, that could have been all the air. Spinning back fist missed. John, does it appear to you as it does to me that Tommy Williams is beginning to control the fight? Norris Williams is reacting to Tommy Williams? I think you're absolutely right, Larry. Tommy seems very confident. Norris seems just a little bit confused. You know, it, he seems like he's a little bit hesitant to go ahead and unload things. Tommy Williams is a very experienced fighter, and he is able to slip just outside the power range or just inside so that he jams a kick. In that second round, I had Tommy Williams again, a 10-9 winner. So after two rounds, unofficially, I've got Tommy Williams ahead by two points, 20 to 18. 
There's a left hand and a right hand. Tommy Williams is using those side kicks to get the hands down of Norris, and then stepping in with the left, the right, and then he'll switch sides and go with the right and then the left. He's tough. He's tough to get out there and fight with because he changes up and he changes and he throws things awkward, and uh, he's just a real difficult fighter to fight. Norris Williams appears to me that he keeps trying to land the big right hand. I think he's trying to set it up. That was a double kick, spinning back kick, then brought the round kick up to the head. Phenomenal kicking on the part of Tommy. Spinning back kick to the body, the hands touch the ground, they get wiped off, and the fight continues. Well, Dan Swenson called that one a slip. Uh, I might disagree with him on that. It looked to me like he kind of knocked him down. That left hand caught Norris's attention also. Oh. Tommy doing a little dumping move when he had that leg up on the shoulder. Well, at this point, Tommy Williams is really frustrating Norris Williams, it appears to me. He's just moving and slipping, and Norris is getting hit and running into things. But Norris has good power with his right hand. He has the ability to knock people out with that right hand. Norris just spit out his mouthpiece and threw it outside the ring. He fights about half the fight with a mouthpiece in, and then he gets mad and he wants to throw that mouthpiece out. That could get him in trouble if one of those spinning back fists land. Well, I think Norris is letting his emotions get, away, get the better of him, and Tommy Williams, I'm sure, is real pleased to see that because that makes him just easier to hit. Norris says, now nah, I caught it on the elbow, no pain. There's the bell. In that last round, Norris Williams with nine kicks, Tommy Williams 13. Tommy Williams throwing in that jumping in, spinning back kick that slid up his arm, Norris Williams' arm, and Tommy turned it into a roundhouse kick. Takes tremendous body control. There's that jump back kick. Caught Norris Williams off balance, knocked him down a little bit, but the referee figured that was a slip. It's up to the referee to decide if the fighter goes down because of the force of the kick or if he was off balance and the kick just toppled him. Well, the referee was a lot closer to him than I was. Round number four. Tommy Williams, the world light welterweight champion in black, Norris Williams in blue. John, how did you score it after three? After three rounds, I had Tommy Williams winning all three, 10-9, so he's ahead 30-27 unofficially on my card. Tommy three Williams. officials at ringside who will be scoring officially. Tommy Williams is very cocky, getting a little bit careless, I think. He better be careful. Norris Williams can knock you out with his right hand. If he ever, there's a good right hand right there. I think that got Tommy's attention a little bit. Tommy's sticking his chin out now. There's a slip, obviously, kicking, and his back foot came out from under him. Tommy's laughing at him. Norris is feeling, I'm sure, extremely frustrated. Tommy steps through with that left hand. He'll be turning and throwing the spinning back kick off of that left hand lead punch in a moment. You watch him. He'll lead with that left hand from the rear side, step through and throw the spinning back kick. See him do that many, many times. There, well, nice round kick. He fooled me that time. <laughs> There's a spinning back fist right on the jaw. Norris fighting without a mouthpiece. He threw it out early in this round. Tommy Williams just totally frustrated Norris, Norris Williams at this point. That's what's making Norris mad. He's not going to get hit. Tommy is hard to hit. He doesn't seem to be there when the punch gets there or the kick. He's elusive. He's unorthodox. He hangs and slides and sticks his chin out at you. Norris may be making fun of that back kick, but it caught his attention. It was right above the hands in the breastbone. Well, that's the same back kick that made Norris go to sleep the last time they fought. I don't think he's going to make a whole lot of fun of it. Looked like they banged heads in there when they got in real close. Well, Tommy Williams throws, throws a couple of, threw a couple of really looping hard right hands, kind of wild. Williams winking down to us at ringside. He says, I got this guy under control. There's another spinning back fist at the bell, ending round number four. Step to the inside, spin around, and Norris Williams dropped his elbows looking for the back kick, and there was the spinning back fist. Perfect. Great work, camera guys. A perfect example of what Tommy Williams has been setting up for this entire fight. Those big movements, step over back kicks, pumping the kicks into the arm. As you pointed out, Norris knows he has to respect the power of that kick, and as soon as he drops his arms, the spinning back fist comes around. When he's in the corner here where he can't move left, he can't move right, those spinning back kicks get on. Awesome. Earl Gilkey there. Earl Gilkey just really 
getting on Norris Williams' case and you got to go. Go, Tommy! After the fourth round, I've got Tommy Williams up with a commanding lead. I've got him winning each round 10-9, so he's ahead 40-36 unofficially. Did you see that left round kick? Snapping the head of Norris Williams. Bring it, bring it. Tommy. Tommy Williams is a master of setting people up. He spends a great amount of his fighting time in setting up so when he decides to go ahead and unload the spinning back fist or the spinning back kick, he knows the opening is going to be there. There's blood trickling from the left nostril of Norris. Norris Williams, the black fighter, wearing the blue trousers. Tommy Williams in the black trouser. There you saw the mouthpiece go flying. Norris Williams, as required by the PKA, starts every round with his mouthpiece in. But when he gets a little bit winded, that mouthpiece comes right out. And Norris again, feeling very frustrated. He's unable to deal with Tommy Williams. Tommy Williams loaded that right hand back in Oklahoma. <laughs> Norris Williams still seems fresh. He doesn't seem really that, that tired. He could still land the big right hand. That's what he wants to do. Tommy Williams has not stopped smiling through this whole fight. Putting the pressure on Norris Williams in the corner. Norris Williams sidesteps that last kick, but look at the blood running out of his nose. He's hurt. All right, Tommy. Norris Williams definitely having trouble breathing now from from the uh, bleeding in his nose. John, I'm not sure. There may be a cut to the right of his right eye. 20 seconds left in round five, and he's back in this neutral corner again, right above us, being pummeled by Tommy Williams. Williams stuck in a side kick to the face. Dan Swenson's gonna give Norris Williams a standing eight count. Gonna make sure that he's okay. Norris is having trouble with his right eye. Oh, the fight has been stopped. Norris Let's Williams says, I can't see. It may be or it may not be. They've got a minute between rounds. Let's see what's happening. It has definitely been stopped. Norris Williams said he couldn't continue. We're going to see. Tommy Williams steps back, comes in with the front leg sidekick, right on the gloves, right on to the eye of Norris Williams. After that kick to the face, Norris Williams said, I can't see, I can't see. Dan Swenson very wisely stopping this fight. The accurate kicking skill of Tommy Williams once again spoils the hopes of Norris Williams. Let's go.